the first person I would like to present who has two minutes, I'm so sorry, two minutes. Um, the first project will be presented by Charlotte Jurgens from Abolition 2000. So you have the floor. Fellow students, I'm thrilled and humbled to join with you today as we represent a generation of buoyant, imaginative young men and women who've never experienced the Cold War. As children, we learned about mutually assured destruction in history class, and we believe that such frigid inhumanity was permanently a part of history. But the weapons of a previous generation continue to endure, and their toxicity leaks like poison rust into the world that we inherit. I've grown up with a robust belief in the danger and absurdity of deterrence theory, yet as an adult, I'm frightened by the sometimes schizophrenic interactions between nations and peoples. I begin to understand the fear that many people in my own country have of destroying our bombs when the world seems so perilous. I ask that the United Nations uses its influence to speak to those terrified people who cling to nuclear weapons as a surrogate for actual security. Their fear is well-founded and legitimate. Their conclusion that nuclear weapons will bring safety is neither of those things. The hideous potential contained in a single nuclear bomb is colossal. No less tremendous is the task of dismantling the thousands such weapons in existence. Yet if humankind has the awful power to build those weapons, we also have the awesome power to destroy them. I have faith in our generation. I believe that we are capable of laying aside misguided policies along with the weapons that once bolstered them. Each of us has a stake in this epic undertaking. It must be done thoroughly. It must be done now. We students can raise awareness for nuclear abolition by observing the International Day of Peace Student Observance and by involving ourselves with nuclear abolition initiatives such as Unfold Zero and the Abolition 2000 Global Network to Eliminate Nuclear Weapons. But these are only small steps along the road to safety. Nuclear abolition may not be the UN's only objective, but as we engage in our other responsibilities, we must remember that all of our goals depend on a world free of the blight of nuclear ruin. I, along with countless other young people around the globe, join with you in creating the peace and security of a nuclear weapon-free world. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Charlotte. That was lovely.